saw that I probably put the most time... Welcome back, Boost Attic fans. Thank you all for tuning in. Today we're going to get a little sharpening done on the 550 XP Mark II. Now, I got part take care of the, the chain. Uh, this side 562 covers. XP. Uh, it's way uh, nicer than I have. Uh, sharpened yesterday. Got a brand new couple files from this job. Um, I'm going to run this saw. Things razor sharp, ready to rock. It's going to glow right through wood. Last time, last couple of videos I posted out, you can tell the saw's been bogging down. It's not running right. That's because this chain's been botched. Uh, I was using the wrong size, wrong size file on it. So you really couldn't, uh, I was cutting way too down much in the gullet more or less and it, the tooth was way cooked over top. So lesson learned, get the right size file. That's all set to go. Side note, if you do decide to get a full rep handle for your 562 XP, do not try to use the Husqvarna hard case. It will no longer fit. This will fit the 562 or the 572 Possibly the 592, but with full wrap handles, it's just too wide and it won't fit. So don't waste, don't waste your time, because I wanted to get a case for each of my saws. Alexa, stop time. All right. So we're going to get some filing done here. Get a brand new, uh, let's see what this one is. This is for the 325, so this is going to be a 316 file. So we're just going to touch this chain up a little bit, give it a little bit of love. Show you guys how I do that. Always the two hand, pull through. This file is not cutting. I think that one's pretty worn. Let's try a different one. Steel files, try that one out. And I got two Husqvarna files here as well. So I'll give these a go. That file shot, that one there. That has changed, it's really weird. So this is actually pretty sharp. So I don't think I'm really gonna do too much with this. This is a semi-chisel chain, 20 inch Oregon. This stuff's, these chains are really nice for, for cutting stuff with a lot of dirty bark and rocks in it. The cutting edge holds up a lot longer um, than you'd have to file on a uh, full chisel chain. Yeah, your, your chain should just glide like this. If it doesn't glide like this, you not clean out your bar rails and you got gunk inside your oiler. But this should be like butter, just like this. You'll see my 562 is pretty much the same thing. Um, even with a 24 inch on it. that big hook that was the problem got too far down in the gullet <laughs> fix it up the best I could but the Simar uh, logo is peeling off this already and the clear coat starting to come off of it but I don't know maybe it'll look better without a, any ring on it all just a all metal but yeah thank you guys so much for watching um, I don't want to do any other filing, the other saw. Everything's pretty much already sharp. 
two extra chains for that. Uh, I gotta get a bigger, ch an extra chain for the 562, uh, and it'll be good to go. Um, I love my Husqvarna, but I also picked up uh, a DeWalt 60 volt electric leaf blower. These things are pretty nice. Uh, 60 volt flex bolt battery. Uh, I got a 90 amp hour in here. 60 volts, and you get around 236 miles an hour, I think, with the air nozzle. Uh, I don't remember the CFM exactly, but this thing's a, a pretty nice unit. You can use this inside as well, because there's no gas emissions, so you can pretty much just blow whatever you want out anywhere without having to worry about the fumes from running fuel. Uh, Two-stroke fuel here in New York right now uh, for VP Premix, which I run, is uh, $27.99 a gallon. So, yeah, and pump gas is you know still expensive and then you get go through the pumps they have it all on one on one pump so there's still ethanol going to be in that line from the previous person who put regular gas in their car people also don't think about that um a lot of variables to think about when it comes to fuel and, and stuff like that i'm gonna get a 28 inch for this i'm gonna order a new chain that should be coming hopefully in like a week or two gotta get some Wood stacked up and posted. We're good to go. Put the Mark II away. Strap her in. I always carry an extra scrunch in this case as well. Thanks so much for tuning in. I'm going to end this one here. Uh, just showing you guys off the saws and uh, going to be doing some cutting either later today or tomorrow. Uh, weekend, it's decent weather outside. Doesn't look too, too bad. Just a little overclass clouds. Ain't nothing. But thank you all guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video for more content. I'm going to be doing an auto-tune reset with this 562 XP. Um, as well as a uh, muffler mar part two that everyone's been asking about because there's very little information um, on the muffler for this saw as far as like in what inside looks like there's not much on the internet there's really not um, I saw a gentleman the other day did a video and he kind of cut the baffle out which I didn't realize the baffle was that big in this muffler um, the muffler is more restricted stock in the 562 XP than the 550 mark two is uh, flows a lot better and has a bigger even outlet um, as I'll show you in some other um, pictures on the on the channel coming up soon I see Tim Mann starting them up he just got a 572 XP it's pretty cool I'm excited he's gonna be having the newer newer saws and that's why you pull your handle out to save your paws. It's good practice. Trigger response on this saw is incredible. It's really fast. It's a higher RPM build. But this is good for medium sized wood. There's an old McCall in the garage. I want to get uh, fixed up in the next couple days, too, and uh, get that running. Show you guys how that fires up. It hasn't been started in years. But everyone, take care. Stay safe. Stay boosted. Peace.